Ice. It's that stuff that you put in lemonade. That stuff that you put in the cupboard to freeze, and then you forget about forever. Or is it? Well, Hitler certainly didn't think so, and neither did most of Nazi Germany. In fact, they thought that the entire world, you, me, and even the stars, were all made of ice. This is the story of Weltheistler, also known as the Cosmological Ice Theory. It's pretty wacky, so buckle up. A lad called Hans Horbiger was looking at the moon one night and was like, yo, the moon's round, that means that it must be made of ice. Brilliant thought process, might I say. And later that night, he had a dream that confirmed his belief, and the dream went like this. So Hans was swinging on a pendulum, and then the pendulum broke. Yeah, that was his brilliant dream. And because of this, he went on to claim that Newton's theory of gravity was wrong, and that gravity instead stopped working three times further out than Neptune. And I'm no genius, but I literally don't see a single link between any of those three points. Like, honestly. And excited by this new realisation, he went on to chat with this bloke called Philip Forth, and then they published a book together called Glazial Cosmogony. And if you are incredibly confused right now, I don't blame you. This guy was clearly not thinking straight. Anyways, this book explained how the universe was made of entirely ice. It all started way back in the day, when there were these two stars, a big one and a small one, and the small one was made of ice. And then they crashed, making an explosion that gave off a bunch of ice that flew around to make the solar system. And then, because of hydrogen, all of the ice started spiralling inwards for some reason, which somehow causes the outermost planets to be bigger because they absorb more ice or something. And I'm going to reiterate, this is his actual logic. It makes no sense, but he honestly believed this. But it just keeps on getting weirder. In fact, according to Hans, you can prove this, because meteors are actually these massive ice blocks spiralling towards the sun, and that when they collide with the Earth, it causes hail. He also looked at the moon one night, and was like, yo, it looks funny, so there must have been more moons beforehand. He claimed that there had been, in fact, six previous moons, and that they all have crashed into Earth, causing multiple doomsdays. I mean, it's obvious, really. What else caused Atlantis, the totally real city, to sink? And by this point, Hitler was in charge of the National Socialist Party, and, as I'm sure you're aware, he wasn't very fond of Jewish people, and by extension, their beliefs and ideas. However, Jewish people, I'm looking at you there, Einstein, had practically came up with all of science. So the Germans had to ditch these theories, as they were apparently wrong. But now, with no science, they needed a new German version of the universe that they could follow. So they chose the world ice theory. And Hitler loved this new version of reality. He went as far as saying that it would be the next Christianity. But then, he lost the war, committed suicide, and basically nobody cared about glacial cosmogony anymore. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. You know, I hope you enjoyed the vid. It was lots of fun to make and research. If you enjoyed, you know, consider smashing that subscribe button. It really means a lot and all that good stuff. Uh, like if you did, don't if you didn't. See you around.